Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love mid-journey when it comes to AI art generation. It's miles ahead of anything else out there right now. But it does have one small problem. It can't spell. Well, there's a new AI generator on the block and it can spell. Could this be a real challenge to mid-journey? Let's check it out. Look, guys, you know I'm a big fan of mid-journey when it comes to AI art generation. I mean, it creates really awesome art. But as I said, one major issue is it cannot spell for the life of it. I mean, what's that meant to say? Yeah, these. Cleave? Cleave? Sublime? Slive Cluvy. Yeah, it can't spell for the life of it. And that's the one big drawback with Midjourney. You might do a prompt for some sort of product thing or, you know, a t-shirt. But as soon as you put spelling in there, it's a no-no. And that's a problem with AI art. I mean, you, you can have amazing pictures, as I said, with Midjourney. I mean, you know, no doubt about it. These amazing pictures here. But, you know, spelling is a major problem. And it's kind of a bit weird that it can't spell. You'd think that's quite simple, but actually it's super, super complicated. But there's a new player on the block and it's this. It's on GitHub right now and it's deep. It's from Deep Floyd and it's uh, IF, Deep Floyd IF at Stability AI. As you can see from these examples, it can indeed spell. Strike dear mistress and cure his heart. I mean, look at these. And pretty good, pretty good AI art generation. I mean, it's a bit mushy. It's not mid-journey level in terms of its quality, by all means. But it's certainly on a par with all the other things I've seen, like Dali and stuff like that. Um, and, and look, this one's not too bad. So there's some really good examples here. Um, this mouse with cheese here. But look at this, a neon sign. What if it's more than text? Yeah, really good quality stuff. Really nice text here. And difficult things like this, a hand drawing a hand, quite kind of difficult to master. So it's sort of there in terms of the AI art, not quite mid-journey level, but spelling, that's the thing. Now, as I said, this is available on GitHub at the moment. We introduced Deep Floyd IF, a novel state-of-the-art open source text to image model. OK, so this is open source. So as is often said with AI or new technology, this is the worst it'll ever be. Yeah, this is open source. So there's huge potential for it to be worked on and developed and improved. And if you're into the whole kind of science and programming behind it, they break down how they kind of generate it. It sort of goes through different phases. They create a kind of a 64 by 64 image. Uh, once they're happy with that, then they turn it into a 256 by 256 image and then it gets upscaled. So they're using these different models and processes to kind of create the picture and then a, a different model to kind of then upscale the picture. And that's what they do. Now you can download it and run it off your own system, but you need to, it needs to be quite powerful here. A 24 gigabyte VRAM you'd, you'd kind of need in order to get up to 1024 by 20, 1024 images and stuff like that. So if you're familiar with GitHub and how to kind of download and run programs that you find on uh, GitHub, all the details are here and it breaks down how it works and how it functions. But as ever, you can try it out uh, already over on you know, either in Google Colab or it's over on Hugging Face. So here you can see, now I've already done this one, as you can see, just as an example, picture of a man in his 30s with a sign that says subscribe. And then I put in 50, here, 50 mil lens. I got this because there's an example down here of a hat. So I use this prompt here for a baseball hat, but I just changed it to this guy um, in his mid 30s holding a sign saying subscribe. And it's done it quite well. If I generate this, you'll see, um, we'll just generate and see what it, what it does. It takes a little while because obviously, you know, 
servers and stuff and lots of other people are using the hugging face server and stuff okay so here we go we've got some examples and it comes out really small versions and it's not always 100 percent accurate but it's pretty good okay let's upscale this one if it's spelt right it's interesting because the examples they show and demonstrate are obviously you know cherry picked again it's not too bad the eyes are a bit janky and um you know this sort of diffusion in the skin but look subscribe he's holding up a sign saying describe so it's getting the spelling uh, down really, really well. What's going on with the nose there? So it takes a little bit of time and you can try and experiment in different ways, but you do in fact get text. And if we look at some of their examples, you'll see what I mean about how it understands a bit about the context and then provides the text within the context of that prompt. Let's check that out. Actually, before I do that, let's look at the same prompt in Discord. So you saw it earlier. Yeah, look, without a shadow of a doubt, mid-journey, look at the quality of the photographs here. I've used exactly the same prompt. Beautiful. This is what you want in terms of the actual picture quality. But look here. Stewie stirred? Self-imiffy. Subabar. Self-itism. It's having a go, isn't it? Is Sufrele Seboa and Supibimi. Suimibi. Sui me be. Yeah. No question about it. There's that and that. Subscribe. Nice and clear. Yeah. So look, there's no no question about who wins on the picture quality front, but in terms of the spelling, it's this deep Floyd IF. That's what's, you know, kind of got it. Now, as I said, this is open source. This is only going to get better and improve. And I think it's also an indication of what can be achieved in terms of spelling and stuff like that. And I'm sure Mid Journey have got their eyes on this. Brothers and sisters, if Mid Journey can nail the spelling, I think it changes everything. But let's look at some of the examples um, from Deep Floyd IF in terms of spelling and the context of that spelling. So here we are over on the Deep Floyd Discord page and you can see some of the work. So there's that owl that I showed you earlier uh, in the forest. It's not bad. It's a pretty good one. And they say they've merged the antlers pretty well. Sort of a mushroom effect here. Again, it's contextualized the way the text is going to look based on your prompt. So it goes here, glowing mushrooms in a natural environment with smoke in the frame, text Deep Floyd. And then it's sort of acid. So like, an, you know, going on an acid trip or something like that. But the, it's interpreted the prompt and then interpreted the way that it's going to present the typeface to you. They've not said put it in a wibbly wobbly kind of orangey trippy text. It's decided to do that in the context of the picture. And that's the really cool thing here. This is quite cool. Make stability deep again. Uh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. That's pretty cool. I mean, look at this graffiti. That's really cool. And if we look at the prompt, and again, here, a photo of graffiti. So it does say, you know, it's graffiti on a New York subway and the text make deep, make Floyd deep again. Uh, and then again, look at this hat. But look at the way that the, the it looks like it's embroidered on. It, it's not just kind of, they've not just sort of stuck the text across. It looks like it's embroidered. It's part of the hat. And that's the really cool, exciting thing. Again, open source. This is just the beginning. I mean, you say it's not up there with picture wise, but look at this. Just to give an example, look at this lovely picture of a burger. It's making me hungry, that. I mean, this is almost, I'd say, this is mid journey quality. So it's possible. It's, you know, it's up there. It's close. They're not far away in terms of the picture quality. Again, here, a 4K photograph of a cat dressed in Walter White from Breaking Bad. Nice clear B there more food shots food's a lot easier to do i think in ai than a lot of other pictures and they do seem to nail it and this is a good example look at this so a persian carpet with a game boy pattern that's pretty cool four bottles of wine next to each other labeled one two three and four very precise again you might say that's not much i mean it's just numbers clive on wine bottles but it's specifically said four bottles of wine next to each other labeled one two three four there you go look there's a thumbnail yeah. Capybara podcast. Yeah. Instant. I mean, I create and generate a lot of my thumbnails using mid journey, but then I have to take that picture, put it in, you know, I use a pixel R or whatever, or, you know, put it in whatever you want, Photoshop 
and then add in the text and all of that. Here, look, you could get the text to work really well within, within the picture. I mean, that makes a great podcast thumbnail. There's the mouse and the cheese. Now, look at this. It's quite good. A 4K DSL photograph of a cute canary bird head with tennis ball. And wow, that's detailed, hyper-realistic. They're putting natural language. That's sort of demonstrating the use of natural language. A VSCO preset inside a bar, film grain above a bar. So this is, look, here we are. This is the neon, neon lights above a bar in a kind of low-lit night bar scene. Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. Colour photo of a real leopard in a German bar. There we are. Again, I mean, you know, that here is like my subscribe one. It looks like it's sort of just, you know, put on, but still very, very clever. Marilyn Monroe, bit face is a bit janky, but look, happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Colour close-up of ideal blonde Marilyn Monroe in white dress. Tropical frog. Very good. So occasionally it really nails the quality. Letters made of cloud that says really soon above a beautiful ocean. So there you go. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, they've really worked on, and I would say sort of nailed the ability to show text in AI art prompts, which is a big, big leap forward. Picture quality wise, yeah, it's not quite up there with mid journey, but as I say, it's only a start. And, you know, to be honest, it doesn't always spell it right. I've had a few kind of spelling mistakes, but give it a few goes and it usually nails it. So there you go. Is this Deep Floyd IF a real challenge to Midjourney or is it merely showing it the way? Does Midjourney need to nail text generation in order for it to stay ahead of the game? We've already seen on Adobe Firefly that they can take text prompts and then give it a specific style. But the key thing, the trick is who can master top, top quality AI art generation that incorporates text and Deep Floyd IF seem like they're on their way. Anyway, let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. I really appreciate it if you would. And please remember to hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find content just like this. And if you are new here, do me the great honor. And of course, please, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah. And why don't you check out my other AI videos over here? I think you'll really enjoy them. These ones here, they're, they're just here. Yeah. Click on them. I think you'll enjoy them. Thanks. Remember to hit the sub like he's doing. Yes.